Welcome to Rotisserie Restorations. Let me show you some stuff that we have going on today. All right, so this is a 65 Mustang I've been working on. We uh, originally were just gonna do a wiring and some paint and some stuff and then some brake work. Uh, we did a whole new harness from American Auto Wire, front to rear as far as lights, engine, actually underneath the dash and in the rear. New fuel filter, you know, we went to adjust the brakes and of course there were some problems with the brake line. So we actually replaced most of the brake system, new master cylinder, new rubber lines all around, new actual lines on the rear axle. Uh, it has new shocks and of course we had a, a little bit of rust in the whole fuel system. So we're cleaning that out, treating the tank right now. Other than that, it's it's pretty much ready. Now this right here is a Trans Am, I'm not sure the exact year. I think it's a later 70s, but it's getting insulation right now, as you can see. Uh, and later it's gonna get um, stuff. The dash is gonna go in, new harness, stuff like um, vintage air AC, all that stuff. It's actually gonna be a Bandit car, so it's gonna look like the Bandit Trans Am. This sweet thing right here, this 57, as you can see, we have the dash took apart because we're doing some wiring, cleaning that up, tidying it up, and then doing some stuff with the actual uh, column. The turn signal switch, of course, being old, has given us some problems, so we're dealing with that. And right here we have a 37 Buick that has a Mustang II front suspension kit, and we're putting bushings and all the control arms and everything. We have the bushings coming, and it's really just waiting on that. That's all it's here for, and it's pretty nice. This right here is a Pontiac Le Mans. This is a car we've actually done a full frame off restoration on. It has a one piece front end, all fiberglass. We're just finishing up some small things on it like e-brake cable, we're about to go for a test drive, small stuff like that. We get over here to the body shop section of our shop and we got old Chuck over there. He's actually working on this Chevelle. It's getting a color change, we're stripping it down. He's acid etched every, pretty much everything. He's working on the deck lid there. Here's the hood and the cars back there. All right, so explain to the people about acid etching. Well, acid etching, it pretty much assures that it kills any type of rust that's on the panel itself or you know, the whole car. Um, a lot of times when we strip these, we usually use sanders or even sandblasting. We don't do a lot of sandblasting here, so we strip by hand. And when we're done, we put the acid edge on it to assure and basically guarantee there ain't no rust on the panel. After we put primer on it, we it. Okay. This is an older Fiat, and we're doing some body work on it, and then of course some wiring work, interior stuff, some patch panels over there. The hood and the deck lid are actually being stripped right now and behind in the paint shop. We come back to the actual paint kind of shop, and uh, we have a F1 with a Coyote in it, and then the Fiat's hood and deck lid, which we put some paint stripper on it, and as you can see, it is working like crazy. Right here is just a Cadillac, older Cadillac, it's late 70s I believe, and it just got in here yesterday, yesterday evening. We're gonna be doing some wiring on this car. We have a lot of wiring projects going on right now. Actually, as I was talking about that uh, Cadillac, we had another truck come in, another square body. So we got the three square bodies, a round eye, a square eye, and then a you know, square eye K5. And this one's getting cleaned up and ready to go. This one's getting cleaned up and pretty much ready to go. And that one just got here. So I'm gonna wash this one and you'll get a quick little time lapse of that. So that was a little 
weekly update of kind of what we're doing at Rotisserie. Um, there's more to come. If you like the video, keep watching. It'll only get better.